One is absolutely the huge technology background, the kind of mind we have in the South, the people all over the world, people look at the technology hub and the technology source from, from India. Number two is the infrastructure. Not even 10% infrastructure has been made. So 90% infrastructure, any country, whether the Lincoln to now, it is the infrastructure which a catalyst to start the economy. And number two, India has a tremendous, tremendous base of natural resources. Whether it's the oil, whether it's the gold, whether it's the copper, whether it's the iron ore. And it is not even 2% has been explored yet. So with this two, when the, the economy opens up, I, I feel that it will accelerate much more. You can't expect overnight anything to happen. You know, it has to settle down, the government, the public, the way we do business is transforming. And it's, it's the question of time. There is no question in the world anybody will say that GST is not the right thing. You know, but if you look at the India, India, if you look at it, is a place of entrepreneur. There is a lot of similarity between US and India. India has grown because of the entrepreneurship. India, if you look at the, all the, the uh, socialist country, they run by the government. The company is the business run by the government. Most of the democratic country is uh, the business run by the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. the private. The government look at, look at the governance. And India is moving in that direction. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it's like a khichdi. You know, this has to be resolved. The Indian entrepreneur has tremendous capability in India. Mm -hmm. Anything which they have give, uh, trusted on, they have delivered. Whether it's a telecom, whether it's a steel, whether it's an airport, port, anything, the moment the government entrusted them, see the kind of world-class capacity they built. So this is the, the one thing that has to be recognized, that India is the place for entrepreneur. I'll give you the smallest example, mm -hmm. the ONGC. ONGC today market cap is $330 billion. If it has been privatized, it will be $300 billion. I'll give you the example. <laughs> Hindustan Zinc, when we bought, the market cap was 2,000 crore. Today, in 10 years' time, is 2 lakh crore. Same company. And it is run by the same people. We have to understand the DNA of India. India DNA is very similar. It's a democratic country. It is the DNA of entrepreneur. Right. And the more entrepreneurship comes, you will see how the, 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 the GST is the right direction, demonetization is... At least there is a prime minister who take a decision. Right. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Investment. I have to ask Mr. Agarwal before I come to the rest of the panel. Uh, you know, are you seeing early signs of revival in private investment activity? Uh, why is it that corporate India isn't still putting its money where its mouth is? You know, they're, they're, uh, they have a tremendous capacity to risk taking. I can tell you one thing for sure. It is all about uh, taking the risk. And I think the, government, the Indian entrepreneurs are definitely, they are definitely looking how the government policies are changing, how things are settling. It's very important the way uh, Prime Minister Modi, every day I'm seeing his speech, he's talking about, you know, taking away the bureaucracy as uh, mentioned that the uh, uh, red carpet, uh, yeah, everywhere he said, we, we have a red carpet. Uh, uh, not less, uh, less bureaucracy. It is, it is showing a way. There is no question the amount of talent. If you go to California, the maximum startup is by the Indians. The maximum startup is by Indians. Why not in India? It will happen. It, it is, it is the, we, have, we have the Niti Aayog, Deputy Chairman here. These are very, very important. They are participating. And I 100% I believe things will change. Okay, you just mission critical, right? Okay, I, I closing comments. We're running out of time. I want to start with you. Mr. Rana Kapoor started off by saying $10 trillion by 2030. He's got his eyes set on 2030. Mr. Agarwal, when do you see us getting to $10 trillion mark? And I'm going to ask this to the entire panel. I can talk about my subject. You know, I'm a natural resource person. India has, cannot leave importing 85% of oil. We have a $70 billion worth of reserve. I produce 30% oil of the country. I produce the sweet crude. I produce a low sulfur crude and I believe that India should have at least 20, 30, 40 companies to come and produce oil. Every company come from the foreign want to set up the refinery. Every company want and set up the uh, petrochemical. 
I produce oil at six dollar. I want the economy to revive. Is to fundamental. It is is your energy. Right. Number two, the natural resource. We import hundred percent of gold. We have the best patch of gold, copper, iron ore. Right. Anything you talk about, this has to be processed in India, aluminium, and these thousands of SMEs has to develop. The startup has to come. Um, uh, McKinsey people are here. They will confirm the kind of yes. talent which we have. The banking system, everything will revive yes. the moment you revive SMEs. And right. this SMEs, one is the technology, other is to start up this manufacturing. You accept, even if you see the automobile. There are 50 parts required of aluminium, in aluminium, right. and the, the, these uh, parts being imported. This has to be manufactured here. Okay. Important thing is the quality. Well, from one big corporate name to another, transparency in the banking system. The need of an hour says uh, Vedanta Chairman Anil Agarwal. Nayantala, I caught up with him on the sidelines of uh, ETGBS summit. Listen in. He is saying transparent for the people. Uh, who, uh, who uh, take the um, uh, bank money has to be responsible and if it is not, government will take a stringent action. That's what he is doing and he says the bankruptcy court has done a good job and uh, there's 23 agencies are working to make sure the governance is followed. So it's very nice. So are you still in the race for electricity? Electricity will be put in a bid and we are waiting for the... Is it being rebid? I have no idea. Well, that's, uh, you know, uh, Chairman of uh, Vedanta talking uh, to Nayantara Rai, RA supporter at uh, ETA.